most of us learn how to dance because we want to communicate something without using our words, right? And if we're dancing naked, we're probably looking for a little bit more than the pride of a job well done. By the end of this video, we'll make sure that your badass body language is received, enjoyed, and fully appreciated. Before we dive in, please be sure to click the subscribe button below, followed by the bell for notifications every time that I post content. This way we can ensure that you get the content you need when you need it. All right, we're gonna quickly go through the top 10 pieces of advice that I've been giving baby strip teasers and burlesque dancers for really winning their audiences over. This advice has been inspired by both my work in the clubs and the cabarets and my personal dating experience. So I know that it'll work for you too. Tip number one, vulnerability is your friend. It will calm you down and it will give others the space to root for you if displayed wisely. Tip number two, choose a song that you love regardless of what other people feel about it. Attitude is always way more important than technique ever will be. Look, I've stripped to You've Got a Friend in Me from the Toy Story soundtrack, so anything is possible if you just believe in yourself. Tip number three, start playing with your clothes. So this is a process. The only time that we arrive at a party already naked is the one that is being thrown on the day that we're born, right? At some point, there is a transitional process that has to occur if you're going to be dancing naked. So acknowledge your clothing, clothing, become present in the moment, and discover what this fabric really feels like. Make this visceral. Step number four, we want to peel our clothes off as if they can't be bothered to come off. Imagine you're peeling off a stubborn banana peel. You need to peel it off, but you don't want to damage the soft and delicious fruit underneath. Tip number five, in a massive exhale, you want to release your clothes like they are on fire and present boldly. Flick and yeet that article of clothing and stand in your glory. Contrary to popular belief, dancing isn't only happening when our bodies are in motion. If you can stand confidently, breathing into your shape for a solid four to eight count, you will leave your audience absolutely breathless. Tip number six, focus on just one body part at a time and don't over overwhelm yourself with the whole package. There is no point in rushing perfection, savor it all. Tip number seven, you wanna make sure that you are breathing, incorporate that breath into your movement. Inhales are for expansion and openings and exhales are for twists and contractions. You are a wave and the dance is an entire ocean. So just flow with it. Tip number eight, is anybody watching? Make them listen to your thoughts. So dance translates thoughts into motion. What's on your mind can easily be read by the audience, even if you're not talking, because that's how the subconscious mind works. If you want your audience member or members, plural, uh, to feel anything, you wanna talk about it in your head as if you're talking to them about it. Now, if you can sync up that thought rhythm up with your breath and with the musicality of the song that is being played, then we're really in business. Tip number nine, you wanna buy something that makes you feel incredibly spoiled. Whether it's an ostrich feather boa or your favorite encyclopedia, a prop is a prop. And props help us focus our movements and our minds on something other than ourselves. So it shows our potential audience members how our bodies like to respond to certain stimuli. This gets their imagination to run wild. I've literally never met a human being who didn't respond positively to this. My last and final tip, tip number 10, is to record yourself. And I know that that sounds super terrible, um, but you'll be shocked when you find that little five second section of your three minute video that makes you feel like a goddamn goddess. Don't pick apart the things that you don't like, just crop out those parts of the video and just save the sections that make you feel good about yourself because at the end of the day, that's the only reference material that's gonna ever do you good from this point forward. Once you've cropped that video, focus on those things that you like 
and try to imitate them over and over again. Really breathe them into your body because your body is naturally going to start moving in those ways more often than not because you're programming your mind to do exactly that. All right, feel free to add to this list by commenting in the comment section below. Please leave a thumbs up if you find this video to be helpful and hit the subscribe button if you like more content like this. New episodes are gonna be dropping every Wednesday. So my mission is to bring you more love, beauty, and pleasure into your lives. So if there is something in particular that you are looking for, please tell me about it and I will throw that topic in the queue. Until then, check out these videos for more inspiration on your journey.